Hey there, Spark fans. It's Avra here. And today we get to talk about one of the most useful communication protocols, I squared C. It's easy to fall in love with I squared C when prototyping and get carried away wanting to extend the signal down super lengthy cables. However, when you get put into a production setting, sending those signals down long, unprotected cables can mean mayhem for your project. Let's say that you have two devices that you want to communicate with each other over a single lengthy cable. One will receive digital input and the other will send digital input in terms of ones and zeros. Let's say that a nearby car turns on and this means that it'll induce an electromagnetic interference and create voltage spikes. If these spikes are big enough, then the receiver will actually read this as digital input and produce random numbers, even though it's just noise. Like I said, mayhem for your project. However, there's another solution besides trusting single lengthy cables for I squared C protocols, and that is using differential signals. You can do that with NXP's PCA 9615IC. And lucky for you, here at SparkFun, we've just developed two new breakout boards that utilize this IC and allow you to do long range communication using I squared C. So let's take a closer look. The brand new QuickBus endpoint and midpoint utilize differential signals to ensure as little noise disruption as possible. They do so by encoding the SDA and SCL lines into two split differential pairs and sending equal and opposite signals over two wires spaced closely together such that the signal is far more noise immune. Basically, since both the signals are being affected by the noise source equally, the differential pairs will pick up an equal amount of noise, meaning there is no difference between the noise, making it invisible. And since both signals are being affected by the noise equally, we need the differential pair wires as close together as possible, like a twisted pair through Ethernet. The endpoint itself utilizes NXP's PCA 9615IC to convert the two default I squared C signals into four differential signals, two for SCL and two for SDA. And the differential signals are sent over an ethernet cable, which attaches to the breakout board through an onboard RJ45 connector. This means that using the quick bus endpoint can send I squared C signals reaching up to 100 feet while maintaining signal integrity. It also has two quick connectors to make it easy to get readings. Plus, this updated version of the differential I squared C breakout adds two 0.1 inch space pins connected to the unused pair of wires on the RJ45 connectors so that you can easily take advantage of the unused pair for whatever you'd like. The SparkFun QuickBus midpoint works in tandem with the QuickBus endpoint, so you can extend the range of your I squared C bus and easily tap into drop in advices wherever you would like. Besides using NXP's PCA 9615IC for differential signals, having two quick connectors and two RJ45 connectors, the midpoint also features an LMR33630 buck regulator users can enable to source larger amounts of current up to three amps at 3.3 volts to devices attached to the midpoint. Lastly, we've built a SparkFun QuickBus kit, which comes with everything you might need to get started with the SparkFun QuickBus system. It includes two QuickBus endpoints, one midpoint, and two three-foot ethernet cables. What's amazing about these boards other than the fact that they can maintain signal integrity over 100 feet, is that we developed them for a real world use case. Remember when we were talking about noise interference when a car turns on? Well, we were actually thinking of a much larger motor when we decided to utilize differential signals, a tractor. We partnered with Farmhand Automation, who's on a mission to help small farmers grow the local food movement to the next level. And these boards allow them to implement communication protocols without having noise interference from large machines. With Farmhand as inspiration for what can be accomplished in a production setting, the sky's the limit with who these boards can talk to. So pick yours up at sparkfun.com today, get chatting and happy hacking. Is that we developed them, we developed them. We made these. Mm -hmm. Well, we actually had a much bigger motor in mind. I don't like how I said in mind two times. We partnered up with Farmhand Automation, who's on a mission to help small farmers grow the local. Mm. Oh. Local. The local. local. Is that we developed them with a real world use case in mind. Why do I keep saying in mind? Other than the fact that they are existing. <laughs> grow the local, grow the local food movement to the next level. One more time. Oh. We're on a roll. <laughs>